The double, double HP brand, well, what really is it? You know, the Double HP brand is kind of multifaceted, you know, initially it was about music, you know, and the kind of style of music that I do as well, like, you know, having, like, you know, brought, like, Sitswana rap into, like, the fold as well, like, you know, popularizing it, um, doing stuff like uh, Strictly Come Dancing, you know, to introduce me to other audiences as well, where it wasn't really about my music, people were now kind of, like, sold into the personality as well, you know, so, yeah, Strictly Come Dancing introduced me to a whole lot of other, like, you know, audiences, people who don't even know my music and sometimes, like, perhaps not even like it, you know, but they just like the personality and the person. And, you know, and from there it went on to other things, you know, like the, the deodorant that we did, took out as well, like earlier on, like the TV shows that we did, um, the brands and all that stuff. So uh, there's people who really love the WHP brand and it's not all just like, you know, in one basket as like, you know, music or whatever else, there's dance, there's music, there's acting, there's social responsibility and so many other facets as well. Oh, that's The South African legend Jabba, or Hip Hop Anzula, or more widely known in his later years as Double HP, was a South African musician, South African hip hop pioneer, and a South African legend. In this video, we're going to be discussing the legend that was Double HP. Let's check out the state of his social media pages years after his passing. On YouTube, you'll find him at Likoko TV with over 2,900 subscribers. On Instagram, he is Jabberman underscore one with over 23,000 followers and over 2,700 posts. On Spotify, he's sitting on over 27,000 monthly listeners. And Twitter, he is at Hip Hop Anzula and has over 485,000 followers. And if you're looking for Facebook, if anybody uses Facebook for anything other than business, hang that nigga now. I got the rope right here. Initial career. Double HP started his career in the mid to late 90s being part of the group Verbal Assassins in high school. The group released one studio album in 1997 named Party. The group soon disbanded after that, and this is where his solo career began. He's always been a trendsetter ahead of his time. When American rap was the biggest influence, Jabba coined the Mutako fraternity as a whole and showed us the power in just being you in your creative expression, language, and all. Let's not forget his mean on his feet too. In 2007, this man danced his way into South Africa's hearts to become the champion of season three, Strictly Come Dancing, with an impressive catalog that has earned him an MTV Africa Music Award, a BET International Act nomination, and a Lifetime Achievement Award at the South African Traditional Music Awards in 2017. Woo, it's a mouthful, I'm tired right. just talking about him. Let's Pioneer. Double HP released his first studio album in 2000, titled Introduction, which was his introduction as a solo artist. The album was produced by singer and producer Isaac Mtetwa. Double HP followed that up with his second studio album, Muff Town, in 2001, which refers to his hometown, Muffy Gang, of South African Northwest Province. And this is why many believe he pioneered Mutwaku rap. Double HP at the time was one of the only hip hop artists at the time rapping in local South African languages such as Setswana, Isuzulu, and Susutu. To run through his discography, Double HP released Umang in 2003. He followed that up with Umang Reloaded, which he released in 2004. Double HP released YBA to NW in 2005, Acceptance Speech in 2007. Dumela in 2009, Mutsu Africa in 2011, Mutsuako High School in 2014, and Drum in 2018. Double HP released a total of 11 studio albums in his 21 year career. Double HP released a whole catalogue of classic South African music such as Harambe, which paid homage to the history of South Africa by celebrating the youth of 1976. Thank you notes and ancestors from his album Acceptance Speech, Let the Beat Go, which featured top lyricists such as Zabs and Dumi, which shows Double HP's lyrical ability as he could rap with the best lyricists in South Africa. Wamutzibam tour where he featured a young Casper Nyovest, which he was mentoring. Music and Lights. Yeah. Okay. 
it yeah, like a GD Fly like Saranta Bole Yet yeah, another hit like it's wonderful Give yeah, a trolley Beat you like a flower le bole Give a cone Make to an a fresh na bole Him bone Mona and one of the biggest songs, Boso, which went viral in South Africa in 2011. <laughs> Double HP was a certified hit maker and his long lasting career, which spans over 20 years. Double HP is an award winning artist, winning multiple awards, including Best Video at the MTV Africa Music Awards in 2009, Best Hip Hop Award at the Muftan Mabana Awards in 2015, and the coveted Lifetime Achievement Award at the South African Traditional Music Awards in 2017. Double HP also took home the award for Best Male Artist and Best Hip Hop Album at the South African Music Awards for Acceptance Speech in 2008. It was the first time a hip hop artist had won the award for Best Male Artist at the Psalmist. Double HP was also awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award at South African Music Awards in 2019. He also won BET Award for Best International Act. Double HP has toured all over the world performing in Europe and in the United States. Double HP opened the door for many South African musicians to work with global superstars and showed the US that hip hop is flourishing in South Africa through his collaborations with stars such as Talib Kweli, Asheru, Omar and Raheem Devon. Before the names Kuli Chana, Duk Singanga as well as Casper Nyovest, there was always the president of the Mutsako Republic. Hip Hop Pantola, also known as Java, made Tana fashionable. Java has firmly led the pack, always celebrating his heritage and language, whether on an African, American, or European stage. Mutsako Originator. Mutsako is a subgenre of hip hop that originates from Mahigen. Lyrics are typically in Sudwana, English and Vanak. The word Mutuako means mixture. Double HP mixed hip hop with Guaido. Double HP was one of the first artists to popularize Mutuako in South Africa. He is widely regarded as a pioneer of not only Mutuako but hip hop as a whole in South Africa, as he was one of the leaders who brought hip hop to the mainstream in South Africa. Double HP is credited for bringing in future legends to the game who were influenced by him such as Casper Nyovest, who is also regarded as one of the best hip-hop artists South Africa has ever seen. And Kuli Chana, who came up under Double HP's Mutuako movement, is also a highly respected South African hip-hop artist. Double HP's legacy is cemented in South Africa as a legend in the game. In his untimely death due to suicide in 2018, Double HP was honoured by the South African government and the ANC even came out to pay their respects to the South African legend. Double HP is undoubtedly one of South Africa's greatest musicians and pioneers and his legacy will live forever. Rest in peace Jabba, summer has never been the same without you. <laughs> what would summer be without Jabba? Uh, 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 uh. Thank you.